Hello, sixth grade science students. We are here with you to do a little review for our quiz on Friday. Mrs. Brown, Miss Aiton, Miss Butterfield, and I'm Mrs. Burnside. Okay, we are going to be talking about the engineering design process like we've been talking this week. And the first step, we have to have a problem. We always have to have a problem or a need. And then after we state what our problem is, we have to brainstorm. We're going to, engineers get together and brainstorm possible solutions. Then we're going to decide on the best possible solution and we're going to plan. We're going to think about it, we're going to sketch it, and we're going to label. After we plan, we're going to make a prototype. And you know that a prototype is a test model. We're going to test it. Uh, so when we, we've tested our prototype, we're going to go to the improved step. We're going to see what works, what doesn't, and how can we modify it to make it better. We might have to go back to the brainstorming, to the imagine step, and then plan again. Or it might be okay, and we might just want to use it. Our vocabulary for this quiz, engineering design process, a series of steps that engineers follow to come up with a solution to the problem. And many times the solution involves designing a product. Technology, a product that is designed to serve our needs. It could be anything from a pencil to a, a laptop. Engineering, the process of creating a new technology, and then prototype, a test model. So those are our four vocabulary words for Friday. All right, so we're going to go through an example problem here and just kind of give you um, just another example of how engineers use the engineering design process to create those new products. So the very first thing that engineers have to do is ask themselves a problem or if they find a problem. So I know it's, it's teachers, I don't know if you guys have the same trouble, but a lot of times kids don't turn in their homework and it's hard for them to get their homework in. That is a very common problem. Definitely a big problem. What do you think about it, Mrs. Ferguson? Oh, do you yes, have a problem too? definitely. Yes, that puts a frown on our faces. So when we think about that problem, we need to think about what types of things contribute. What kind of things contribute to that for students not doing their homework? Um, well, I mean, a lot of it is they just don't plan for it, you know, they, or they forget about not doing their homework. Um, or they take it out of their binder, yeah. out of the rings of their binder, and lay it down at home, and then they can't find it. Right. Or worse, they leave it at school. Yeah. So how can we get more student homework turned in is really a great problem, I think, yeah. for the four of us to work on. Right. Okay. So the next step in the engineering design process is to brainstorm some possible solutions. So as teachers, what are some ways that we think we could get more students, students to turn in their work? You know, it would probably be really annoying, but I could always follow them home. Yeah. So that's a great idea. Those kids that don't turn in their homework, just follow them home. I like that idea. Definitely, we could follow them home. That would be one solution. Another solution might be to create an application that would automatically dial parents' phone numbers to notify them that the student has not turned in his or her homework. Okay. Yeah, so so like an app where yeah. they have their phone numbers in there, it automatically calls them. We could maybe That'll just put in the student's last name, call yeah. the first name, and it would automatically send a phone call home. That yeah, I like great. that idea. Okay. That'd be great, because then I wouldn't have to miss my supper. Yeah, make a phone call. Right. Following, following students, students home. home. Yeah. Sure. Okay, is there anything else? Hey, what about something like a drone? Ooh, yeah. what do you think about a drone? Sounds yeah, military, good. Are, they're using the drones all the time. I'm sure we could get our hands on one. Absolutely. Are you thinking like it would drop it off? I'm thinking it would pick it up. Oh. So, so maybe it could do both, though. Maybe it could. we could have a compartment in there where 
Uh, they have like extra sheets of the homework, so it'll visit them at home and say, do you have your homework? And they say yes or no, and it gives them an extra copy, or it could pick up the homework. That's so it could be multitask. Okay, that's great. All right, those are some good ideas. Yeah, and I wonder which one of those solutions kind of, if we look at those three, those are yeah. really great ideas, which ones yeah. we might feel is the best. Yeah, it's, it's really at this point in the engineering design process that we need to go ahead and, and just pick one of those ideas so we can actually start to build it. So maybe we take well, them one by one. Yeah. Following okay. students home. If I look at that solution and I think about it, not sure that's really practical. Yeah, we, we, would, we would be out all night long, wouldn't we? Oh yeah, we'd never get enough <laughs> back at home. So it's like Bert, Butterfield said, we would never eat dinner. So I like late, my dinner. But yeah. <laughs> all right. What about making a phone call home? I like that it would be an automatic phone call home, because then we wouldn't have to spend our nights making those phone calls home. That would be the same problem that we ran into with following them. You know we have to be able to do that too because think of all those companies that automatically yeah. call people. Oh yeah. So like I um, think we could use that. Yeah, maybe that same system that Miss Winstead uses to make her phone calls home where it just sends it out to everybody. Maybe we could use that same sort of idea to create the app where it would only make certain or select phone calls for us. Okay, so we'll keep that one on the list, I yeah. think. What about a drone? How practical do you think it is to create a drone? To do that work for us maybe if we got a lot of money but i hear drones are pretty expensive yeah, yeah. and the battery life's pretty low but i love the idea of a drone with a really scary face stuck on it showing <laughs> up at your house i don't that know though that's not i'm not yeah, sure not right let's knock that off the list darn it all right so it looks like we've got our idea and let's expand on that idea let's go ahead and our next step of the engineering design process. And let's go ahead and, and think about it a little bit more, maybe design or sketch our idea out. We are going to all get iPads, right? Mm -hmm. So we want an iPad app, like I can just hit a button, do you think? Yeah. Here, we'll so it'd be one of the apps in there on our home page. I'm going to draw like an old homie phone. And I'm such a great artist. There's my like phone. Phone. Okay. okay. So we've got the design of the, the first design that the kids would see for our app. Um, Do you want let's to go and head and label that icon and maybe the iPad itself? Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of thinking too, we have that remind application. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there'd be something we might be able to use yeah. from that and or the system we have here at school. Right. So we, yeah, that's true. The Remind app already has all the parents signed up. So maybe we could just piggyback off of that uh, that system. So let's go through maybe and outline some things we want this application to include. Okay. So it needs to include the student name. And it's going to have to also include the parent number. And then there would need to be some type of a message as to what the right. problem is. So, so some notification message yeah, or so, alert. Yeah, so some way to record our voices um, so that would send out the message. All right. All right, so I think we've got some great ideas here. We've really expanded on what we want the app to do. Um, so now let's go ahead and go to the create part. And remember, the create is making the prototype and testing the prototype. So we've got our app. We're going to have to get some, uh, some electrical engineers to make the app for us. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know anything about building an app. So we're going to have to outsource the app. They're going to build it for us. They'll send us the prototype where we actually get to use it and implement it in class. So what we would probably want to do at that time is identify several students mm -hmm. that we will test right. our app with to see if the thing works and it sends out the right message to the right student at the right time. Right. So then we would have our test group or our experimental group. <laughs> um, we were going to test the prototype. And so identifying whether or not the prototype worked, we could test it on a number of students to make sure that it delivered the right 
message to the right student at the right time. And I guess we would have to think about how many students we'd want to test. Right. I'm thinking that if we have 400 students in our sixth grade, maybe we'd want to test it on like a 10% or yeah. 40 different students. Yeah, so we already have identified the fact that we've got our test group, it's going to be 40 students. And then we're going to get feedback and find out whether or not it actually worked. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so it looked like the first third of the students that we tested got the right message at the right time. Yeah. And the second group, but we have a problem with the third group. So I think we need to go back and identify what the problem was. So we're going to need to modify and improve our design. Because... So what went wrong? What were the things that didn't work when we called home for group three? Well, I had a couple students tell me that they couldn't actually hear us uh, once we had recorded the message. Okay. I had a couple kids tell me that it, the signal just wasn't good enough, so they weren't able to receive the phone call. And it was like jumping in and out. I had one student say it called and it gave the wrong name. Did you all have any other errors in that third group? Maybe mm -hmm. called too late at night. Oh, wait. Oh, good time. Oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> so the third error that we had most frequently was it called at a bad time. Meaning that it called after 9 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Because that's too late. Alright, so at this point in our engineering design process, we need to look at how we can modify and make the app better. So we've gotten some feedback. So maybe one way we could make this better is instead of sending a voice message, or maybe it sends a voice message as well as maybe a text message. I think that's a great idea. So yes. if the signal wasn't good enough, they could still get the text, or it sends it as an email maybe. And that would also take care of the phone call at the bad time. Mm -hmm. um, so then that way it wasn't notifying them or waking them up with that phone call. And then I think as far as wrong name, maybe we just need to cross-reference our actual list of students right. with student phone numbers yes. because maybe we just have that some error errors yeah. in our database and that could easily be fixed. All right, guys, that's it for us. Make sure that you're studying your notes. Make sure you're also working on your vocab throughout the week. And if you have any questions, please make sure you see your science teacher before the quiz. Good luck. Woo